Good morning. I'm not good with the PowerPoint. So I was all week long, I've been thinking, what am I going to do? How am I going to present what I do? And most of y'all have been to the car lot or have purchased a car at Carville Auto through Mike Hamby or Angie Roebuck or myself. And so you already know a lot about who we are and how we do things. Um, but things are changing. We're expanding. And as long as I've been there, my cup of tea has always been secondary finance. And so I've been offered a job there pretty much to make this thing blow up. And our partner lot is Mount Rye Auto Sales. They are the number one car lot in secondary finance in the United States of America. So, which means I'm competing against them and I want to whip their tail. I like challenges and I don't like to lose. And I refuse to accept defeat. So that's my goal. And best things, I have y'all as my team. So I need I need help getting in front of credit unions and a bunch of other things. But first of all, I'm going to tell you a little bit about who we are. Uh, we've been in business now 12 years. Uh, we were based at Center Street in Carville, uh, out of a little house. It was Angie Jan, uh, Mike, myself, and Ed Bright, out of this little house. And our goal was we got to get to Poplar. We have to sell more cars to get to Poplar. At 5 o'clock on Center Street, you count leaves falling off a tree. So we're like, how are we going to create this? So. Sure enough, we get there. Now we're expanding, and it's just so awesome to watch something grow, especially in the hottest part of town, 72 in Poplar. There's so much traffic there, but we don't want to be associated like every other car lot. Everything we sell is pristine. It's impeccable. Now, I can't get everything fixed. You know, I can't control an alternator, and I can't control your maintenance. If you don't maintain the car, that's on you, but I will protect the car, and that's what this comes about. This is not Cairo Auto Center. Let me put, point that out right quick. This is Allstate Insurance Company that has an umbrella group who said, you know what, y'all have been in business so long now and have such little after-sale claims that we're going to give this opportunity to your company, your customers. We're the only independent used car dealership that offers this. This is a lifetime warranty on your engine, transmission, and drive axle for as long as you own it. It doesn't matter if you own it for 10 years, 5 years, 6 years, and put 50,000 miles or 200,000 miles. If your engine gets shot and you change your oil, you will receive a new engine. I don't care if you're driving a 2015 C350 E-Class or a 2007 Ford Fusion. You're going to be taken care of. You're going to go to work. You're going to be able to go to work, make payments, make payments on the house, maintain your, ability, your stability of life, and you'll come back. You know, this is how I keep friends, this is how I keep customers. So please keep that in mind when you send them to us. And if we were to go away, God forbid, that they're taken care of here or in any other part of the state, as long as they go to some place that has an ASC certified mechanic. Um, and being that, I'm gonna go to this. I don't wanna waste time on who I am. If you wanna get to know who I am, let's do a one-on-one. -on -one. So this is my 10 minutes, I wanna hit the point and Start selling, because you know how I am. Sell, sell, sell. Yeah, sell, sell. So here's my sunshine. My target is credit unions. I want to be in front of credit unions. I want loan officers. I don't like walking on a lot and talking to people unless I know you. I don't like to be that guy. You know, I come out there if I have to, help yourself, make yourself at home. There's the bathroom, there's the coffee. Have a great day. If you want to talk to me, I'll, I'll be more than happy to help you with the cars. But I want to be sitting in front of credit unions. The reason why is when you go in front of your credit union, you say, hey, I know that I could trust this person. I see him every Friday or every other Friday, and I want to get a car. And they come to you and say, hey, Billy Joe, man, I like you. I'm so sorry to tell you. I can't help you. Our credit store here has to be a minimum of a 630, 640. And they might not have that credit. Or maybe mom and dad are strong out, they have two cars, have a house, and they can't co-sign for the daughter or son. They just can't. So the credit union sends them on their way, and guess where they end up? Pirates Cove, Covington Pike, that's where they're at. And they're smoking them, man. They're selling cars like hot bread. And they're in, but they'll never see that guy again. Then they're stuck upside down in a car that ain't worth half of what they're financing. And then they come to me, and I'm like, dang it, I couldn't help you. I could have helped you. And that's where I'll come in. I want to talk to credit unions so I could stop that. I could put them in the partnership that I have now, a finance company that we just started here a couple weeks ago, and I'm in charge of. Once this, how this happens is I take the loan, they have half the loan with me. I protect the client. I put them in a the car. Yeah, the interest rate's not going to be a 2.9 if you haven't been paying your bills or something can happen, but bad things happen to good people. 
It just happens. Divorce, death, failure of income, and things get behind. But I can rebuild you. Thank you. I can rebuild you in less than two years. And sometimes even a year. I stay with you. I follow up with you. I make sure you're making payments because if you don't make the payments, the bank's not going to pay me. That's how it works. But you come back, and I like to see you get out of the loan. Once you get out of the loan, I get you out of the loan. I put myself upside down another car to get you in a better car. And that way you can buy the C300s. You can buy the nice cars that you see on my lot. I have a little bit of everything now. Um, questions. I know I got how, many, how much time I have? Sold. Sold. What's the highest price car you sold? Um, 88 grand. Wow. Yeah. Used. Yes, sir. That's used. No. Well, I wanted to say that my mom bought her van from you guys a few years ago, and somebody else in my family bought from you guys, and they've been very, very happy. Uh, but do you still take orders, and like my mother described to a T, what she wanted, and then you guys went out, and it was like a week or two later, you found that car at an auction in Nashville. You guys checked it out before she bought it. Do you still do that? Yes, we do. We have a We are a team. We have a locating service <laughs> like that car. It was a 2000. Uh, 13 Jaguar XJL, the big boy, with everything in it, everything but a microwave. And that car sold for 120 new. <laughs> I could install it. Um, but yes, we do locate. We do, definitely locate. We like to do that, but. We all take trading. Yes, I take everything in on trade, excuse me, but except ex wives and children. So please don't be offended. Yeah. Everything else takes money. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have any specific credit Yes, uh, the city of Memphis is one of mine, and I, that's what I need to figure out. I need to be sitting in front of loan officers, anybody. If you're a bank teller, talk to them. Tell them you need somebody that wants to talk. I'm not scared to make phone uh, cold calls. I don't care. If I get bored, I start dialing numbers, and I, somebody's going to pick up. <laughs> and I'm going to keep them on the phone. So if that's what I, I need. To please put me in front of those people, uh, any credit union. The city of Memphis is great because there are a lot of police officers, fire departments, MLGW. Those are the type of folks I want to talk to. They have consistent salaries. I mean, they could pay, and they are, they're getting issues, too. I do security. That's fine. Anybody. I'm in. I'm in. I'll go. Orion. Ma'am? Yes, I'm already associated with Orion. Okay, good. Yes, and I'm working a deal with them where I could do a presentation there. but. I would like a smaller credit union, so I guess like Southern Securities, uh, Bartlett, th that's perfect. Those are. So would independent bank be considered your, your competition? Or no. Independent bank is categorized as clients in certain brackets. I, know, I used to work with them, yeah. and they're, highly, they're mostly automotive and nationwide. I have, I have, indep I have independent you bank. We have 28 different lenders, so I can put, I get everybody finance, <laughs> anybody. If I can't do it, I'll carry the paper somehow. But I'm not putting 30 grand. <laughs> I'm not going to put 30 grand in the street. That's not going to happen. So if somebody runs out their warranty on their car runs out, that's what you can help them with? Sure. Um, with this company that I've partnered up with, they will put a two-year warranty on your car. Uh, and it'll cover more than the powertrain. It'll cover like the ABS, the uh, AC, the heater, the, seat, the motors on your seats, the window regulators, the things that get costly. Because if you can't maintain the car, you're not going to make the payment and, and you lose the car. And it just hurts everybody. Uh, and then what happens is that warranty, I pay for that. We file a policy, I sign it, write the check for you. And then when that warranty is voided, the two year warranties, this will always be with you. Now, if you sell this car, you give it to your children, relatives, whatnot, it's voided. This is for you and only you. Just a testimony to, uh, to Jose and Kaiser Lotto. Uh, they treat everyone with, like they're kings, whether you are or not. I had a case in point uh, when I had my own agency and had a rep who car, needed a car, couldn't rub two nickels together. And where everyone else turned him down, got to Kyderville, and you guys went over, bent over backwards, and he felt like he had been a king. So it's not just getting them the finance, it's making the person feel good in the process. And I yes, sir. To you Thank you. We try. We really do try. All right. How are you on time? 20 seconds. 20 seconds. Well, we to jump. about the competitiveness. I had a client who wanted to sell her RDX. I waited a day to call him, and 
she had already been snapped up by Mike Hamby through a <laughs> referral to another BNI group. It's a very competitive group and they do great work. Yeah, he walked right up to me, he goes, sucker. <laughs> $200. $200. Oh, yes. That's right. If I, it's all about competing, so we like to throw money out there all day long. If you send me clients, if I close on them, it's $200. If you send me five in a month, I'll raise each one 100 bucks. So there's no reason nobody can't afford a car. I'll make the car payment for you. Yeah. <laughs>